Hi guys, it's Sabrina with Sabrina's channel. I am about to cut into my jackfruit, so I was gonna let you come along with me on this little journey. Just FYI, um, it is a very pungent type fruit. It smells, it's got a very pungent smell to it. So what I do is a little trick is put some Vicks under my nose so I can deal with it. But I just, what I do is just kind of cut into it cut the ends off now this fruit you can do multiple things with it you can use the seeds you can use the meat out of it the meat how I stumbled upon this fruit was when about six months ago, we decided to give up meat. So I needed stuff to fake my brain and allow me to think I was eating meat. And this is definitely a fruit you can do that with. Um, you can marinate it in pretty much anything and it's gonna take on that flavor. So let me break into this thing. Now this is one of the biggest fruits in the world and you can use it you can use every part of it except for the exterior part and the husk that's in the center but as far as the seeds and the meat go you can use both all right so this flesh here is going to be your edible meat now the seeds I hold on to so that way I can use them for hummus dip. They have the texture, you would just basically cook them as if they were a potato and this stuff is very sticky, but it's like a potato consistency. So just boil them down and then pull the, seed, the, the shell off of it and then just put it in a food, food processor with like garlic and a little salt and pepper and some olive oil and you got yourself a dip. So I'm gonna, uh, this thing weighs probably 15 pounds. So this is going to be the husk I was talking about. And this is very, very, very sticky. You want the meat that comes in the center of that. So it's going to be this stuff right here. This is the meat that you want. So you pull that right off there. And that is going to, you can literally pull this apart as if it was like pulled meat. And that's what I do is I just pull everything apart and then marinate it in a sauce and we use it for multiple things. You can use it in stir fries, you can use it in pulled pork, meatless pulled pork sandwiches, if that makes any sense to you. But so here we're pulling out the meaty flesh. If you can see that. But you gotta get through all this first. So what I'm gonna do is just cut this center off because you don't need that. That's just part of the sticky icky. So this has been my savior since we gave up meat. It has been my meat substitute. So this is actually a good example right here. So this is the meat that comes out of it. Now you're gonna break into that. Very slippery, slippery but sticky. All right, and then this is going to be your seed. You want to keep that. Take the gooey part off of it. Whoop. Slippery sucker. So everybody's jumping on the jackfruit wagon and this is why because it is a great meat substitution. It has a lot of potential vitamin potentials in there. It's got um, you have high, it's high in magnesium. It's good protein source. I will list all the benefits below, but as of right now, 
I got my hands full and I'm gonna have them full for quite a while so I don't think you're gonna want to watch all of this but I'll take you through a little bit more of it this is my meat these are my seeds I keep them separated so that way I can make my dips see so this is your husk you don't need any of this there's no more meat in there there's nothing this is just junk. This is garbage. So I'll just toss that in, in the garbage. And continue, continue to search for the meat without taking fingers off. Now, most likely, you're going to smell this fruit and just be like turned off. <laughs> but once you get the actual fruit out of it, it's not as stinky. I think it's the outside skin that smells so bad. Um, but it is a gross smell. But don't worry. The taste is very dull. Um, that's why it's very easy to marinate. You can definitely take on pretty much any flavor just by letting it sit for about a half hour in it. What I'll do is I'll take the meat out of this and then I will um, go ahead and marinate that in like a teriyaki or barbecue and then go ahead and put it in the stir fry later. So that's what I plan on cooking later is the stir fry. I'm going to make a mess of my kitchen. So this is a very messy, messy pro process, but it's so worth it. This one seems to have more husk than meat for me, but it's definitely got a lot of husk in there. There we go. There's some more meat. So there we are more meat and the seed bada bing bada boom so yeah six months ago we gave up meat then we took on fish about a month and a half two months after that and then i've just been incorporating this into our diet a couple times a week um so yeah it has a consistency of meat. See how that pulls apart there? Great substitute. I mean, it, the, even the taste of it, the, the chew, it just tastes like pulled, it doesn't taste like pulled pork, but it has a consistency of pork, beef, chicken, just really has that consistency. So it definitely fakes your brain out a little bit. But you'll have enough of these to make quite a few dips out of it. Alright guys, well I won't bore you anymore with the details of my dining this evening. So um, you have a good day. I'm going to get messy. And stay tuned for some more Super Nice Channel. Thank you.